Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to make a quick video before I run off to the eye doctor and I'm expecting everything to go great. I am just feeling really good about this. Okay, there is a new person on my channel. I've never seen this name before. He goes, I guess he, might be she, Yeshua the way, the truth, and life. This comment can be seen under my last video. An awesome message from the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. No doubt about it. He said we are down to the wire. Okay, that's the video. And it's the must have been the very first video posted because it's it's the last one on here. Okay, he this person says... Pray for my soul. This is an urgent prayer request, people. He said, pray for my soul. Guys, nine months ago, I was believing in Jesus. After a short time, I fell away slowly. And I think I have been, I'm, I'm editing it for him or her. Uh, I fell away slowly and I think I have been grieving the spirit. I was in doctrines. And boy, aren't there too many out there? It's hard to pick and choose, especially a new believer. I didn't know much of the word, but many people twisted them. And I'm not sure where to go, but now I know many people add things yes they do many things are happening but I do know God has called me for a reason and I feel bad because after these eight or nine months I haven't got to know the voice of the Holy Spirit or I probably did but I rejected it and lust didn't want to hear it. I fear man more than God, but I know it's that's wrong. I feel every time I evangelize, it's like one wrong mistake. I'll go to hell. Oh, that's so sad. You, look, if you're trying and they don't accept it, you don't worry about that. You tried, you planted a seed, okay? You don't go to hell because the person didn't accept it. Let me put that out right there. Or something when I don't pass out my flyer and I feel condemned. I'm not sure of this feeling grieved. I lack discernment. Oh, honey, if you only knew how many years I lack discernment. I married three times because I had no discernment and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I did not know that I had to pray for it, that I had to ask. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock. And the door will be open to you. Now, uh, well, never mind. Let me move on because I don't have a lot of time to preach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which I would like to right now. Um, okay, so you have flyers. All right. I've been there, done that too, and not that long ago. I had a whole bunch of those cards from... That channel that gives them out free. The married couple, Patrick and Christina. I don't know what they call their channel now. Hourly Watch, maybe? I, I had them send them, and I had them so long. And then that Halloween thing came up. And I decided that I was going to put a little candy bar on them. And take them downstairs and go to this Halloween thing where strangers were going to come in and eat. We were going to feed the neighborhood. So did other businesses around here. It was an advert. It was really an advertisement for our business. This is a business, you know, healthcare business, senior care, living. It's a business, <coughs> and you always want people 
telling their parent, hey, mom, you, if you get to where you need to go or want to sell the house and live somewhere, I know of a place, you know. See what I'm saying? It's a business. Anyway, um, so I, I passed them out then, finally. And, and that was just three years ago, maybe. I don't like Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween. But because it was that night that strangers were coming here, I had a perfect opportunity to spread them out. Now, I, you know, I, someone unsubscribed me because of it. So I thought, well... We are supposed to hate it, not have anything to do with it. We can pass things out. You can go to a church parking lot. Believe it or not, this is something. If I wasn't in a wheelchair, if I could drive, I would go to churches and put them on the cars in the church parking lots. That's what you could do. And you get rid of a lot of them that way. Okay. <clears throat> so you pray for discernment. I haven't lived off the commandments. <coughs> Excuse me now. Satan, get away and stop trying to take my voice. In Jesus' name, I command it. Okay, I got a few more minutes. I haven't lived off the commandments. I fooled myself, but after there, there's still time. I still have a chance for salvation. Yes, you do. You repent of anything you think you did was a sin, and you pick yourself up, and you dust yourself off, and you just move on and pray for help to do better. Okay. And you know what I told you in my reply. Do it. Okay, it will help you. All right. You still have the chance for salvation. The day of salvation is today. I worry about life more than God. Okay, you have to stop doing that. If someone came up to you right now with a gun and said, Denounce Christ or I'm killing you. Let me tell you something. In, in the blink of an eye, you'll be with him. If you say, No, I'm not denouncing Christ. Bam. You're dead. You close your eyes here and you open them in heaven. It's just like that. Okay? All right. But what are the chances? I mean, I don't know where you live, but it's probably not going to happen. You, you probably, you could probably still make the first fruits rapture. There are two. So if you miss the first one, don't give up. There's two. We'll be back to help all the new believers who haven't yet had a chance to clean up their act and do everything right and make their lives holy enough because nothing unclean, nothing unholy will enter the kingdom of heaven. So you can't let that scare you though. We all that already have been through tribulation through our whole life in different manners and still followed God. Okay, let me continue. The day of salvation is today. I worry more about life than God. What he has planned in me. But I feel every time I'm ashamed or scared. And I feel like I'm rejecting Christ. I don't want to be lukewarm. Then you just tell him that. You just tell him that. You're, you're crying out here for help. He hears you. I don't even have to read this out loud. He knew it before you typed it. But I want everybody else to know what to help pray for. Okay? Because right now you need prayers. The enemy is trying to pull you away. And don't you let him. I'm looking at your little bird like that's you, you know. But I... It's, you know, I wish I could see your faces when I, I say something to you, but I can't do that. I, uh, see, I feel like I'm rejecting Christ. I don't want to be lukewarm. I know I have wronged him. Honey, I wrong him every day. I wrong him if I complain. I wrong him if I get mad at somebody for something. 
I shouldn't. When See, every step, there's growth in Christianity, just like in life. When you're a brand new Christian, you are like a baby. You are a babe in Christ. You need the milk of the word. You need to stay in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I suggest Acts, at least the first, through the, when the apostles received the Holy Spirit and started using it, the power of the Holy Spirit, and read the book of Revelation, at least through chapter 7, okay? Because that, that's the multitude too large to number is in chapter 7, I'm pretty sure that's right. That is the second rapture, okay? When all of you that don't make the first one go up, you just have to get your heart circumcised and healed. That means you've got sin still, like dross on a piece of sterling silver. It has to be, or gold, a gold vessel, and it has to be burned off and not necessarily that you have to go through a fire, but when you go through fiery trials, it means you're going through a hardship, and instead of crying and whining and thinking, I'm going to starve, I don't have anywhere to live, I'm homeless now, what am I going to do? You have to give it all to God and think, I know I will be all right. I know everything's going to be fine because the Lord has me. I'm his child and he will not let me starve. You have to have that attitude. And when you prove yourself by going through having to search for food because you refuse the vaccine, if that comes along before the second rapture, and I'm saying if, because I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even 50% sure that it is. But I'm hoping that the second rapture happens before the mark of the beast, which comes along later in the book of Revelation. Having said that, that book is not written in chronological order. Okay. So anyway, this person, you can read the rest of their comment. It's the last comment. Under my last video about the message, the awesome message from Jesus that we are, what did I say, out of time? We are, he said, we are down to the wire. Okay, and please leave them a message and tell this person that you're going to pray for them and, and maybe you have a word of encouragement for them, okay? That's what this person needs is some encouragement, some uplifting by the body of Christ. And I also suggested him emailing somebody for deliverance and heart healing. All right, so I have to end this now so I can start getting it uploaded. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and all of our devices. Um, and over the internet connection. May God keep it up until the first fruits are out of here. And then we'll be back soon to help the rest of you that don't make it. You can believe it or not, but it is true. And I tried to download Kathy's video about um, how each Christian, it's titled, um, just left me uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge you you people won't understand why was i left why wasn't i taken because they didn't read the word of god and there's my timer so it anyway clip converter wouldn't let me it kept telling me try again later well i'm just gonna play it I'm going to put a piece of paper up here like that and just let you listen. They're not going to stop me from putting it up. It isn't anything like the political mess that they take down. It isn't like that. It's just because the word Brideon is in the 
the bar, what do you call it, the URL address. Okay, I have to go now. I love you all. God bless each and every one of you. Please pray for this person and keep praying for Tony. This is an update if you're still with me. Tony's home from the hospital. His pulse is erratic, although the blood pressure is down. And it turns out lidocaine, simple little lidocaine that numbs you up so they can do a little simple outpatient surgery can cause high blood pressure in some people. I didn't know that. Well, anyway, uh, pray that the lidocaine gets out of his system and that his blood pressure and his pulse, his pulse needs to stop being erratic. Although as long as it's staying under 100 and above 60, it'll be okay. It's just better if the heart is steady beat, steady beat, you know, and mm -hmm. the blood pressure where it should be. Okay, so that's my prayer request for now, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.